Every day, we communicate our research capabilities, opportunities and outcomes across the world via websites, printed material and other channels. From industry partners to researchers to government policymakers, the breadth of our audience compels us to write clearly to make sure our research is accessible by all. Which is why we use plain language, also known as plain English. Plain language can be read quickly and easily. It does not confuse or intimidate the reader. It uses only necessary words. It avoids jargon, obscure words, and convoluted sentence construction. Plain language is not baby talk or a simplified version of English. Plain language benefits all audiences, including people who have English as a second language, people who are reading outside of their area of expertise and people who are just short of time. One study found that the more educated a person, the more they preferred plain language. One way to achieve plain language is by using short sentences. That one was 11 words. Another way is to use the active voice rather than the passive where possible. For example, Professor Nguyen won the Nobel Prize, not the Nobel Prize was won by Professor Nguyen. This usually results in a shorter sentence too. And a third way is to use words with fewer syllables. For example, instead of using therefore, use so. Instead of facilitate, use help. Next, choose concrete words. This means avoiding the abstract where possible and using language that conjures mental images, words that have physical counterparts. So instead of, the widget was commercially successful, say, sales of the widget earned X million dollars. Instead of, the results were influential, say, the results made the cover of nature. Finally, include personalized language. Your reader wants to feel that there is a real person behind the text. You can do this by using the pronouns we and you. Of course, plain language will only get you so far. To sing, your content also needs to be jammed with ideas and knowledge worth sharing. And there is no shortage of these at the University of Melbourne.